that comes to his friends. John McCain had many right here in the Valley. Tommy Espinosa is a Latino activist here in the Valley and was a longtime friend and supporter of Senator McCain. Though the two always didn't see eye to eye, that didn't stop them from developing a strong and lasting relationship that spanned beyond partisan politics. Team 12's Antonia Mejia spoke with Espinosa about their special bond. When he was running for president, uh, I introduced him as my compadre. Tommy Espinosa is one of Senator John McCain's longtime friends. The late Republican asked a Latino advocate to be the godfather of his son, Jimmy McCain. Which was a little bit of, a little bit of humor again in, in John. I said, well, John, you know, uh, I'm a Catholic. Uh, so <laughs> I'm not sure that's helpful to you. He says, ah, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> Typical John McCain, don't worry about that. You know, I want you to be godfather of my son. I said, okay. I said, well, let's, let's do it, you know. Their close friendship lasting a lifetime. Tommy and John met for the first time in Washington, D.C. more than 30 years ago over dinner. The whole evening, we just, you know, we just started talking about a variety of different things. But what sticks out in my mind is I asked uh, uh, Jen, uh, John, I said, look, I suspect you've been asked this question before, I said, but how did you manage to survive your captivity in, in the prisoner of war camp? I mean, what was it that, that kept you together? And he, he kind of looked at me and he goes, you know, I've never been asked that question. Everybody always asked me how they treated me. So he said, well, first of all, he said it was my belief in, in, in uh, in God, you know, my, my, uh, my family and my country. He goes, I knew those pieces would, in effect, bring me back home. Despite political differences, they kept supporting one another, Tommy serving as key player in John's senatorial campaigns. John goes, I want you to co-chair my senatorial campaign. I said, uh, okay. I said, well, you know what, let, let, me, let me think about it. Uh, I said, you know, John, I'm a, I'm a Democrat, uh, so I'm not a Republican. And he goes, no, nope, I need an answer now. Are you going to co-chair this campaign or not? I said, yes, I'll be your co-chairman. So he said, good, you know, and, and hung up. <laughs> so, so. They didn't see eye to eye on every issue, though. Espinosa was completely against McCain's support of anti-illegal immigration bills, like SB 1070. There was some position he didn't like, uh, that obviously, that, that, that I would stand on. Uh, and at moments of elections, especially, uh, you know, John had to be uh, the conservative Republican that everybody wants to elect in Arizona. So there were certain times that he took some positions that were very difficult for me to to swallow, but yet, you know, I had the high respect for him knowing that even uh, as he got elected, because you got to be elected in order to make things happen, that the senator would be there for our community. Tommy paying one last visit to Senator McCain as his health weekend, taking this picture with him. I said, you know what, John, I, I just came in to tell you I love you. That's it. I said, there, there's no agenda, there's no issues, there's, there's nothing. It's just, I love you.